Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about my Invisalign journey as well as a couple other things as far as social media and stuff like that. Um, one little disclaimer though. Um, shout out to Thomas from Twitter. Um, I'll probably pop his tweet up somewhere here. Um, he basically asked about my Invisalign. He wanted to know, you know, why I haven't made more videos about my Invisalign. Well, the truth is this entire Invisalign journey, it's a long journey. I have about 39 trees. That's probably a lot more trees than the usual person would have for Invisalign. Now, my situation is a little bit different. Um, if you guys want to learn about my situation or hear about it, I got an annotation somewhere on screen or inside the description. And basically, I am on my fifth tray. So as these videos come out, I don't want you guys to make it seem like I have to drop them every day or every week. Sometimes I need to see progress in order to drop a video so I can talk about what's happening with my situation. So uh, today's video is going to be about uh, something called an accelerant, which accelerates the process of my Invisalign journey, as well as my new trays, my false tooth, and a couple other things that I want to talk about. So let's hop into the video. Yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to like the video and enjoy. All right, guys, so last week I went to the orthodontist and I got my attachments finally put on my teeth. Now, this was scary because I didn't know what they were going to put on my teeth. I didn't really ask any questions before I went to my meeting. But when I went into my appointment, they told me that they were putting a gel type of substance with some type of glue on my teeth. And you guys can tell here that I do have a little bit of gum recession at my bottom canines, but they said that that will subside as the Invisalign journey goes on. Um, also, a little disclaimer, make sure you keep your mouth open wide or you're going to get your lip burnt with some glue. Just pointing that out there. By the way, attachments feel very weird, but they haven't cut my gums. Let's get back into the video, guys. All right, so today's tray is tray five, like I told you guys. Um, there's clearly nothing in here because I'm wearing it. Now, uh, every time that I put a new tray in, I have to get used to talking with that tray, which I'm doing right now. It's always funny to put a tray in and make a video because my lift, every, everything just sucks. So talking with this new tray, it will take me about 24 to 48 hours to get used to it. Um, I think that I'm kind of used to wearing trays and talking with trays. So getting used to a new one is just a little different because the tray is much tighter. Um, I feel like um, with my mouth hurting as much as it does with putting the new tray in, the hurting subsides after about, I would say, two to three hours with the tray in. If you put a tray inside your mouth and your tray is hurting for more than four hours, then obviously there's a problem. Maybe you're not ready to move on to that next tray. Maybe you haven't been doing a process like you're supposed to be doing. Because a lot of people say you're supposed to wear it for 22 hours a day, right? And the doctor will tell you, okay, you get three meals. Okay, this, this is rec time. Yeah, man, you get three meals. So most people say, okay, well, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to eat three times a day, right? Then if they say I only got to wear it for 22 hours a day, I'm going to make sure I take two hours off. You're doing it wrong. I'm just, just putting that out there because every time you eat, it takes at least a half an hour to 45 minutes for you to eat, let alone you have to wait 10 minutes to brush your teeth or gargle water or whatever the case may be to put your trays in. So your trays is out for about an hour. Now, that's three hours a day from just you eating alone. And you want to take a two-hour break? That's five hours, my G. The math ain't adding up. I'm just saying. Now, me, my experience is every time that I eat, if I'm cooking a meal, which most of the time either my wife is cooking, I'm cooking, or we're out and about, I don't take my trays out until it's time to start putting food in my mouth. It's, it's weird, it's awkward, but it's kind of something that I had to do over time. Now at restaurants, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I've been slacking, I've been putting my trays inside napkins, but what I've been doing is with those napkins, I'll put them inside my pocket or I'll go to the uh, restroom, wash my trays out, then put them in the napkin, then put them in my pocket so that when I leave or whatever the case may be, however long it may take me to, you know, either drink a whole bottle of water or get a toothbrush or whatever the case may be, 
it's at least 10 minutes go by and when I put my trays back in my trays are clean you know what I mean that that's the only real reason why I take them out wash them before I put them away or something like that because if you just take your trays out put them inside a napkin not only do you have to clean your mouth out not only do you have to worry about making sure you don't got nothing in between your teeth now you got to brush your trays because all that saliva has been sitting inside your trays for like 45 minutes so it's it's a it's a major hassle but it's just something that you have to learn to live with all right so as you guys can see here man this is tray five out of 39 so i'm telling you guys right now i've been having trays in my mouth for over eight weeks now i'm going into my ninth week and the reason why i'm going into my ninth week is because i have something called the accelerant so let me tell you guys about that so basically if you're someone who doesn't like braces or you don't like Invisalign or you just don't like things in your mouth or you just want to get over the process you want to get done with the process like I told you guys in my last video which is linked all around here and the annotations and stuff like that you're gonna need something that costs about five hundred dollars yes this little uh, box right here yeah um, this little box is about $500. Now, let me show you guys what's in it. It is called an Excelident. Let me take this thing out. So, basically, this little thing right here creates vibration in your mouth. If you, of course, put it in, bite down. I'm not going to do that because you guys have probably, if you're watching this, you have seen a million and one teeth whitener videos. You know, people put the little stuff, the little goo and all that. You know what I'm saying? Put the thing in your mouth, hit the button, and it'd be bright lights. No, nah, with this, you put it in your mouth, you hit this button right here, and this little part right here is the LED and it turns blue, but you have to have this in your mouth for 20 minutes. So it does two 10 minute sessions. It has an app, you can link it with Bluetooth so that you know that you're keeping track of what you're doing. I do this every night for every day for all week long, and then I put a new tray in. So today was the day where I actually was on my seventh day. I used this last night and I brushed my teeth, flossed, everything like that. And I put my tr new trays in this morning. And now I'm going to have to use this tonight to start moving my teeth more to get used to this tray. Now, with this little accelerant thing, right? Uh, the orthodontist told me that my journey was going to be about two years. I've been watching other Invisalign journeys and stuff like that. And a lot of people have been saying that after they get done their initial phase, they have to go through another phase. And that means that they may have to move a couple things, you know, maybe it might have to wear like two or three more trays or some people might get some work done with shaving teeth and everything like that. Some people might develop overbites and stuff like that where they got to fix that so, so much. So I want to make sure that for my first 39 trays, I want to make sure I get them done. So right now I'm on week five or tray five, I'm sorry. And from here on out, I will have a new tray every week because it looks a little bad boy. And this thing costs 500. Now I'm gonna tell you guys, another big disclaimer. It costs 500 out of pocket, no refund, no dental uh, coverage insurance, nothing like that is gonna cover this. You have to pay for this $500 out of pocket. I advise anybody, <sighs> Do not go on eBay or nothing like that to get one of these. If you go on eBay and it says used, it's been in other people's mouth. Just going to point that out to you. All right, so I think that we are at that part of the video where a lot of people really just want to know, should you get Invisalign? Is it smart to get Invisalign? Is it worth getting Invisalign? What about all the other programs out there that, you know, you could just order them from online. There's an app for that and everything like that. Basically, let me let you understand. If you do not go to an orthodontist and you do not go to a dentist on the regular while you're moving your teeth, you may be setting yourself up for a big L in life. I'm just going to go ahead and put that out there. A lot of people say that they have done you know other brands and stuff like that I haven't and the reason for that is 
my grill is totally jacked up. So in order for me to fix this, I need people to look at my teeth on a regular basis or a weekly, bi-weekly, monthly basis in order to tell me that I'm on a right journey or if anything else will break, you know, uh, was anything blow up in my mouth. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm scared. That's all I'm going to say. I'm scared. So with me going to the orthodontist, it was a big decision for me because I told myself I was going to get myself together. Yeah, I mean, get this grill together because you don't know what you'll be doing in five years. So I'm going to make sure my grill is good in the next two. Yeah, you know I mean, so if you want to go online and just, you know, use the app for that and get something for yourself, go ahead. But if your grill jacked up like mine, I would go out, get a free consultation from whatever orthodontist is in your area, whatever dentist is in your area or your regular dentist. If you don't have a regular dentist that you go to every three to six months, something wrong with you, my G. I'm gonna need you to go ahead, go up, go get yourself some dental insurance or something like that. You know what I mean? Or pay for the visit out of pocket. Go get a referral. Go to an orthodontist. Get yourself looked at. You know what I'm saying? Because listen, I need everybody. You know what I'm saying? Get your get your grills right. You know what I mean? We can't all be out here looking crazy out here in these streets. You understand me? You know what I mean? But listen, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, Thomas, I appreciate you for hitting me up on Twitter. Ask me about my Invisalign, how it's treating me. It's treating me pretty good. Mouth hurts right now. Hopefully it goes away within another two hours. Also, uh, I'm gonna be bringing back my series where I just talk to you guys uh, about questions that you ask me on Twitter, from videos and stuff like that. So if you guys wanna ask me a question, you have anything on your mind that you wanna hear from me, make sure you put inside the comment section, ask IKC, and then go ahead and leave your comment. Or you can hit me up on Twitter, follow me there, um, use hashtag ask IKC and then go ahead and ask me a question, but uh, I'm about to here man I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day more 2k coming your way more live coming your way apex coming your way I stream regularly on Facebook gaming right now So if you're not following me on Facebook, make sure you guys check out the link in the description there Make sure you like subscribe. I'm out of here. Leave a like man it Helps you know what? Leave two likes it helps. Bye. Yeah. You can't watch this whole video without subscribing.